Requested by Andrew Knowles. Oh no, what are these unidentified flying objects doing in front of our house? They smell like hot metal too. I'm scared, if I get abducted by aliens again I'm going to miss one day at school and get another detention. Kalo, when did you ever get abducted by aliens? I have my bag, ready to go somewhere, anywhere but here. Oh wow, how weird, I'm scared of the same happening to me. I don't want to get abducted. Abduct Boris. Abduct Boris. We've cracked the code of learning human language. We could make his life miserable and learn his grounding ways for our own alien offspring and raise them right because Boris is the best parent ever. No aliens, you will never know my expertly acclaimed grounding techniques. You will never take me alive, I can run at exactly 8.8, .8, kilometers an hour. Oh my god, I'm not getting abducted by you. Hey look FTC. Curse word. This isn't for kids. Oh no, he ran too fast, we couldn't keep up. I don't know what to do. Should we steal the bald brat that deserves some alien discipline? I think that we should because, we could legit be millionaires in V-Bucks the currency of our planet Chocolate Loco if we open up a human zoo and charge 500 V-Bucks for, a 30 minute viewing session. Splendid. Don't take me away, why do you even want me? This doesn't make sense. Pity, me for being out of shape and not being able to run away super fast. Wah. I'm allergic to aliens. Don't worry Jeff, it's a human a lot lesser, in fact 100 times lesser than an alien from the planet Chocolate Loco. We can keep him for our collection or do experiments on them and maybe make them go Barney, mode. Wow, why does this tickle? What even is this floating goo? I don't feel right, I think my red blood cells turned purple. This alien vehicle of some sort is scary and, I don't know what you are going to do to me. My stomach isn't feeling right. I plea for you to take me home. He looks very small and like us Jeff, he is fragile. Maybe too fragile that if we were to put him in a zoo with other, organisms he'd be at risk of being hurt. Well, we could make use by experimenting on him. I think that's a splendid idea, Jane, if you say yes to that. I will start experimenting on this life for man, I'll let you join in on this fun. That sounds like an amazing idea, Jeff. I think that the first experiment should be forcing him to look at crazy intergalactic stuff through hyper-powered binoculars. The metal, of the binoculars is so cold for some weird reason. I don't want to be hurt in any way and, hope that the images from really far, away I'm going to see aren't disturbing. I want to go home. It's Jane speaking here sitting right by you Caillou, that's my great times 3 grandma who lives 39 light years away in a different time, vortex than of our own. This is getting old, that blue alien is irrelevant because, they only have 7 followers on Instagram. It's Jeff here, time to zoom on something else, Caillou. Oh no, I've been waiting for 3 whole hours at Doris's favorite Italian restaurant and figure, Mama's Italian Bistro for my Italian sub and, it hasn't come out yet, I wonder if they haven't thrown the, kitchen into the HTML5 portal yet? Hey cousin, isn't it cool that I can still be buff in the HTML5 world? Really wasn't expecting that and, getting really excited for our extra large cheese pizza. I guess it is pretty cool but, I prefer kissing John A in comedy world oh, so much more. I can't believe my muscles haven't transferred to H, T, M, L, 5 yet. Oh no, we didn't mean to zoom on to the planet Earth, that place is too not important. Because we haven't taken it over like the other 10 planets with life in the Milky Way galaxy. It's time to do something else to you, we are tired of watching you look at the binoculars in fact, that's pretty boring. Time to feed you a habanero pepper because, we want to lower your blood pressure. That's so spicy, my tongue hurts. Ack. Please don't feed me a ghost pepper, or a Trinidad scorpion. 
Wah wah wah. Time to put a bag of alien garbage on your head. Fresh half-eaten pickled alien fish humanoids. Ah, it stinks so bad. I can almost feel the alien fish D. N. A falling into my body and mixing with my own D. N. A. Yeah, that makes sense because those fish are radioactive due to swimming in the 50% uranium 50% mercury C solution on the planet Neptoid. We aren't done with you yet. We are going to force you to drink a potion that'll turn you into a rat butt. We aren't sure if it'll work because this is the first time we've ever tried the rodent potion. 20% cream soda, 20% apple juice, 20% pent up, edginess, 20% grape juice and 20% love. Oh no, I don't want to be scared of exterminators now. I'm worried but, I'll drink it out, of fear that you might do something worse to me. Wow, that tastes kind of good, that tastes like a liquid form of cotton candy from Chuck E. Cheese's that, I can get for a thousand tickets. Whoa, I turned into a fish. Put me into water right now aliens, let me live. We don't have any use for you now, we were going to transform you into a rat to have you do, tricks and entertain us aliens, we are allergic to fish anyways, we are going to throw you into the earth's oceans. Oh no, I'm a fish. But, at least I can breathe, my gills don't hurt anymore. But my life is over because, I can't run off to Chuck E. Cheese's like this. This sucks. I want some fun and... Playing by swimming around the corral doesn't seem that fun. What? Kalo, you turned into a fish after you got abducted by aliens. This is so weird, when they abducted my dad when he was 13, they made his hair gray super young. You're not even a pretty fish, I wish you were a pretty pig better. Whoa, I wish I could help you transform back I feel so bad for you. Boris, that's not Kalo. Have you gone mad? Daddy, put me back in the ocean. Ack. I can't breathe. Doris, how dare you call me crazy when I'm the complete opposite? That's it, no mama's Italian bistro tonight. Oh no, that really sucks because I love that place, but at least I can still go to the Vion City Mall. <laughs>